and today I'm going to be telling you the toys of India. Toys are an integral part of Indian heritage and culture. A lot of them go back 5,000 years to the Indus Valley Civilization, where it all began with just two cities, Harappa and Mohenjo-daro. They excavated the area and found small carts and dancing dolls. Our ancestors have been preserving this culture of making toys to show the perspective of life. These toys also have a religious influence that tell us fascinating tales from epics such as Ramayana and Mahabharata. Every state in India has a different culture which is depicted through its toys. Today I will show you some of them. Jammu and Kashmir. Jammu and Kashmir is famous for its wood carving and paper mache dolls. Himachal Pradesh is remarkable for its dolls wearing a backpack full of flowers, as Himachal Pradesh itself is famous for its flowers. Punjab's folk toys usually depict things like birds, flowers, animals, etc. In the capital of Rajasthan, Jaipur, it is known for its wonderful string puppets that are dyed with beautiful colors and are filled with waste materials. Oh, it looks like they're having a foot party. Let's join in. Uttarakhand is well known for its temples that are devoted to Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva has a Damru on his trident. And so this toy is devoted to him. Haryana has an innovative range of handmade dolls, such as Laker dolls, wood dolls, and Babushka dolls. And many more. On this particular babushka doll, you can see a woman and she is wearing a bindi, which most married women wear in India. And also a nose ring and the traditional Indian woman dress, which is called as a sari. It is painted wonderfully. Now let's see what's inside. Oh. Here, it's a green one, a yellow one, I don't know how many more I have to open with these, an orange one, wow, this is painted very delicately and it has all the details, wait, there's one more, whoa, this is so tiny and it's painted detailedly, I, I don't know how they could have painted such a small doll. Gujarat is remarkable for its great doll artwork and as you can see on these dolls, they are wearing the traditional Gujarati dress called as Janya Choli. Maharashtra is well known for its miniature kitten set which is called as Bhatukli in Marathi. These toys are made out of brass and these are miniature utensils. Now my friend Abhinay will take over. Hi everybody, Namaste. Now I will show you some toys from Tamil Nadu, a state in South India. These are called Tanjaur dancing dolls and they are a part of the eclectic heritage of Tanjaur. The bottom part is made of clay and the upper part is made of paper pulp. These are Chopusaman, traditionally used in role play. And you can see that these toys are made out of wood and these toys are made out of clay. These are miniature utensils from the kitchen. This is a doll from Kerala. It represents a Kathakali dancer. It is made out of wood and is handcrafted. In Kerala, you can find toys made out of coir and cotton. In these rattles are made of soft ivory wood in a place called Chanapatna in Karnataka. These are handmade and hand painted with vegetable dyes. 
they are eco-friendly and they are completely safe for children. This is a wooden handicraft from Chhattisgarh in central India. It shows a royal Maharaja procession in Chhattis Chhattisgarh. They also make toys with bamboo and clay. This is an ikthara, a string instrument from West Bengal. Ikthara means one string and it's made from wood and string. This is a dancing doll from Manipur. It is made out of cloth and clay. And these are what women traditionally wear in Manipur. These are a couple dolls from Nagaland. They represent what the tribes wear in Nagaland. This is Pachisi, an Indian board game that was created almost 2,000 years ago. And Luda was inspired by this game, but Pachisi was more complex. Pachisi is a strategy game and it is also referred to in the Indian mythology. Now back to my friends. <laughs> These are some common games played in India like cup and ball, swirl, solitaire marble, tic-tac-toe, snake cube, chess, snakes and ladders, and ludo. This is a spinning top. It is played all around India, uh, but it just has different names. So how it works is it's you spin it and it will keep spinning on its peak. Some of the most favorite games played in India are called as Lagori and Gilli Danda. My parents used to play these games when they were my age. Hope you learned something new about Indian toys and culture. Thank you. Namaste.